guys welcome back to my channel I'm really excited about today's video because I'm combining I think two videos in one so the first part of this video is going to be how to film and store things in a tight space and the second half is just going to be makeup collection and storage so I will be splitting this video up into two separate videos so if you are only interested in how to store and film in a tight space this one's for you in the next video I will be posting it will be my makeup collection and storage subscribe to channel if you aren't already and I will just jump in because I feel like I have a lot to share with you if you guys don't know I actually film upstairs in the bathroom which a lot of people when I tell think that's like the weirdest thing but I film in a bathroom which actually some people think it's really weird but it's actually super convenient because I am terrible at remembering it's dirty because I used it today um, at, I'm terrible at for, like remembering to wet this before I start doing my makeup and I literally sit at the bathroom counter so the sink is directly to my right so I literally can turn on the water without getting up so that's like the best part and it's super convenient for things like that and I have a water cup right here which I can immediately refill all the time. So how I film in a tight space is I try to keep my makeup in small containers because makeup is one of the hardest things I find to store because there are so many things about it that have to be I feel like correct and one of the things is foundation is supposed to be stored standing up because sitting on its side it can leak. So I actually have my foundations. These are my foundations. They are all standing up right behind me. So it's super convenient, especially when I'm trying to look for a specific foundation. I can see literally all of them right behind me. I also make use of my space because I put things behind me. Now, a lot of people I find don't like to have things directly behind them when they use them. But that is why I turn around a lot in all my videos because a lot of my face stuff sits directly behind me. So I have three acrylic organizers behind me, which if you're interested in seeing will be in my next video. Um, and I literally just have everything stored back here. I also store things right here, which is kind of behind me, but also off to the side. And this is this lawn cart. So everything, instead of being like horizontally stored, is stored vertically. So it saves a lot of space which is amazing when I only have a tight space. So the counter in here is right here. All my brushes sit on top of it. And then I have makeup off to the other side as well, which is on the other side of the room. But because the room is so small, I can reach the drawer sets sitting in my stool. And that is another thing I use. I don't sit in a big chair. I used to, but it literally took up all my filming space. And I'm really tall. And there's obviously a counter here. And the counter also has like you know, cabinets underneath. Hook up all my leg space. So this is me sitting back here with my knees and not, you know, out to the side of the cabinet. So if I fit perfectly here because of my stool, like it's a super small stool, but it fits in this tiny space. I also have a table behind me, which everything sits on, but it's a half table. So I film completely on my phone. I film and edit on my phone. My phone is an iPhone 6S Plus and I don't use any fancy equipment. I use the bathroom lighting that is already here. I actually use both sets of lights and the light switches are actually behind this curtain. It's actually a sheet. It's not a curtain at all. And if I turn this one off, this is what I look like. I'm pretty dark on this side, which I don't like. So I take, I turn on that light as well. And if I turn off the one in front of me, um, I'm obviously lit from this side so I keep both sets of lights on the whole time I film so it does get pretty hot in here especially today when I'm wearing a sweatshirt so that's why in most of my videos my hair is pulled up like today because it gets really really hot in here really really fast and I don't really have room to install a fan and back to the sheet this is a sheet it used to be pulled really tight but my salon cart prevents it from being pulled tight because of this little wrinkle here and it's actually a sheet thumbtacked into the wall. So it's not the best looking setup, but it works because this space is so tight. I don't have room for like a C stand or a fancy like backdrop. So I just thumbtacked a sheet into the wall, which if you live in an apartment, you can't do that most of the time, but I do not. And my parents are cool with it. So 
I thumbtacked three thumbtacks on top and there I think are six across the bottom. There's none on either side of the sheet because this side's obviously right here and that is what prevents it from being straight. I could pull it tight like this, but because my cart is there, as soon as I let go of it, the little wrinkle comes back. So it's like, hey, what are you gonna do? I actually use white sheets. So there are actually two sheets behind me. There is this one that is white with like little blue dots in it, which you can kind of see the blue dots and then underneath that one, there's a solid white sheet. These are actually twin XL sheets because they're extra sheets from my college dorm. So that's why they're white. But I also specifically used white because the walls in here are painted blue. So when I just used the blue wall, I don't have a video posted, but what I did try to film with just a blue wall, the lighting looked really, really cool because of the blue from it. So all around me, so these three walls are all painted blue. So that is why the lighting still looks a little bit soft and a little bit like cool toned but the white bounces like back so it's not like completely dark behind me so I use white and white also matches any look I do so it's also really convenient which I can change out the sheet if I want to but so far I haven't found another sheet that I really really like I call it a curtain all the time I don't know why it's literally a twin XL sheet it's not the fitted one it's like the loose one and that's just what it is that's exactly what it is I've gotten some questions on it. It's just a sheet and a lot of people got me and gave me a lot of crap for that when they saw it on Snapchat. But to be honest, I did this all on a budget and on a, like on a whim because I've been wanting to do YouTube for a really long time and I never had a space. And eventually I was like, you know what? There are three total bathrooms in my house. And um, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take the one upstairs because nobody's ever in there. And it's completely cool. I can shut the door, which is right here behind me and it's really really convenient being able to shut the door and lock the makeup up completely by itself so that's what I did people ask me is it awkward filming with a toilet in the room no because there's nobody on it. it's right here and immediately to my left and I literally shut the lid and I use it as a table to store stuff while I'm filming with it because my filming setup which you will see in my next video is really really small so I use it kind of as a table so it's pretty convenient actually. I kind of, you know, make things work because I don't have an extra room in my house at all. If I do end up moving, you guys will definitely be the first obviously to know and I will do like a tour of that as well. But for now, I'm making the space work and I've gotten some pretty weird questions, especially from my friends. The weirdest one was definitely is awkward filming with the toilet in the room and no, it's not. I actually can prop my feet up on it. Like right now, I'm leaning on my knee because I mean it's clean so and the toilet lid's down so it, it's always down because I just I use it as a table like I said I just got done filming this look so I use it as a table so back to filming on my phone I like I said I film on my phone and I don't actually own a tripod and even if I did it would not fit in here because the space is so small so I actually stacked up a bunch of my mom's cookbooks and a box for my sister and that is what my phone sits on when I film. And there's actually a Yankee Candle behind my phone. That way my phone stays propped up. And that's how I film. It's not the best looking setup. But because I don't own a tripod. And even if I did, it really would not fit in here. The space is so small. It would not fit. So, um, yeah. I'm trying to find out the best situation for me to film in. I kind of want to film in natural lighting. I don't really like the artificial lighting, but the good thing about the artificial lighting is I can film at any time of the day. So that's really beneficial to me, especially since I'm a college student. It's really easy for me to film after school, like when I'm home. It's pretty easy for me to do that. But because it is artificial, the lighting in here is not the greatest. I have mentioned that in several of my videos in the past. It seems to work pretty well for me right now. Now, I edit completely on iMovie for the iPhone. Now the iMovie for the iPhone is different than the iMovie normally because it is a smaller setup so I don't have very many options when it comes to editing. It's pretty difficult for me to edit because I have a tiny screen and I literally have about this much room to edit on completely so that's why some of my transitions are not completely clean. Mostly it's like at the beginning and the end it's not completely clean because iMovie just does not let me do it that way. I have used iMovie on a computer before. When I was in high school, we actually had uh, MacBooks for school purposes. So I had to edit on them for school, but I don't own one. So I'm, I'm saving up to get one. 
but it's gonna take me a while. So for now, you guys are gonna keep getting iMovie from the iPhone, which I don't think anybody's really complained about it, at least to my knowledge. I've never gotten a comment. And yeah, I think that's about it, filming in a tight space. Um, another glorious thing about filming in a tight space is the sound. It doesn't echo off anything. So I can talk, I film without a mic. So that's kind of why I yell and then I get out of breath. Because if I talked normally, it's not really clear, I find, and it gets really difficult to like hear while I'm editing. So I kind of have to yell a little bit and um, it works. I hope that helped you guys out in case you were wondering how I filmed in a tight space or if you were wondering how to film in a tight space, I would definitely just find lights that you naturally have and you can definitely film on your phone because I think the video, it looks pretty good. I mean, I can't really, I can't zoom in. Um, when it's on, you know, front facing camera, you can rear facing, but not front facing. So I can't zoom in. So that's why when I do eye looks, I scoot closer to you guys and I lean in because I can't zoom in. So this is like pretty much as close as I can get to you guys. But yeah, it works. And I mean, it's not, it's not ideal. It's definitely not ideal. I would definitely like a bigger space. I would definitely like some proper equipment, but because it is so expensive, and I'm not really on that budget, especially as a broke college student. Um, this works for me. And I hope if you guys have questions, it works for you as well. So subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I will see you in my next video.